Welcome to the 15th and final installment of the Nailhead Show. And uh, the reason this great show is coming to a close is because of tumorous growths we've discovered on the Nailhead himself. Having only three weeks to live, we won't put him through the torture of uh, TV. And uh, on this show, we're going to have all the people from the past Nailhead shows. We're going to have Man in the Streets. We're going to have a movie from Boston by the people who brought you Valley of the Green Beats. We're going to have live music and much more surprises. So. Uh, Instead of flapping the beginning of the show, we have so much to go through. So first, we're going to start with a movie from Boston called Base Wars. Thanks. I'm Kid Fury, the one and only Base Man. I rule the Miami Sea with my adventure posse. Right now, I want you to spread the word. That shit in the syndrome? That syndrome's dope. Yep, I read about it in the syndrome. It's all over the place now. Okay, so meet me at the cafe down at down Bank Street and we'll get the base going and, and please don't butt base out on me. We have to make it this time. Ladies and gentlemen, let the base war begin! Mike, I'll get you with the mystic base first. Mystic base, your ass. That shit is wild, dude. That's the weakest base I've ever heard in the world. Build the base, 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 Build the base, 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 Build the base, 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 Build the base, 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 Build the base, 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 Well, when I had my magical scratch, my special base generator, generator. Nobody can do it. Do it. Take it. Take it. I 
Final episode of Nailhead Show, and I hope you enjoyed Base Wars by Doug and Aaron from Third Strike, Three Strike Video Productions in Boston, Massachusetts. And uh, right now, we're going to have a guest from episodes like eight, nine, seven. Its name's J. John Rocker, and uh, you'll remember him from his Ed McMahon type antics, and that's all we'll remember you by. But we were supposed to do a show called J. John Rocker, but it never materialized because he was hitting something too hard. So, without further ado, J. John Rocker. Hey, how's it going? Glad to be here. Yeah, J. John Rocker thing, I was really looking forward to that. It's too bad it didn't work out. But yeah, I know. What can you do with all the shows? Uh, it's been such an unbelievable success. Yeah, I know. Me. I don't know what it possibly could have I know. It, it, not, nothing, not, nothing could have stopped it, I guess. But uh, did you enjoy Bass Wars? Um, to be honest with you, yeah. Yeah, I yeah, know. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. So, um, I guess we're going to bring out um, the Tom next. And... Then go to the streets. But first we're gonna take a belong, first we're gonna take a commercial break. Thanks. Thank you. Fortunately, many Americans have found a way to respond to HIV. You got a friend that's got AIDS. What? They're shooting up? You think that's the only way They're people get AIDS? They're educating their employees. The issue here is education. AIDS is growing fast. Their communities, small town. especially their friends and their families. And last year I found out that I have HIV. If we're going to prevent the spread of HIV, each and every one of us must do our part. Find out how you can help prevent HIV. Yay! Hey, welcome back, and uh, I hope you enjoyed that that message we just had. And um, I'd like to introduce the Tom, who has been away from the show for a while because of all sorts of things, including a newfound love and uh, higher being and right. marriage and all kinds of stuff. But now he's back and uh, looking better than ever. So, ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the Ty. Hi. Hey. hey. That's a nail head tissue. Hey. Thanks. Thanks. Hi. So, Tom, what have you been up to? Oh, pretty much the same thing. Which, which is? Not too much. Wow. <laughs> oh. Are you employed at no, the moment? No, no, no. I'm not collecting either. Wow. Oh, See, so, you know, that, that's someone who's a plus to society. He's unemployed, but not counting in the figures. There's a lot of them out there, Huey. He's just one of them. The uncounted many. <laughs> so, uh, so what are you... My word. So, what's going on? What are you driving nowadays? A uh, Toyota. Toyota, huh? A red one. Yeah. Drive like a nut out here. No. Drive like a nut out here. No. Drive like a nut out here. No. A nut out here. A nut out here. No. If someone right here who's gone through a harrowing, terrible driving experience with you, we'd like to bring around, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Gary Gross. Oh, hey. hey. It was, it was, it was just terrible. It was terrible. We were flying down the highway and cars were going everywhere. At, at what speed would you say this was at, Miss Gross? Oh, it must have been 35, 40 miles an hour. <laughs> On the highway? Yep. It was just terrible. Okay, I, I can't talk about it anymore. It, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm... All right, so uh, we're going to have one more interview right now with a man who, you'll remember him as Ron Ragu in the Drunken Stonehill College episode with uh, blasphemous, blas, blas, <laughs> blasphemy in it and uh, not really anything else of merit. So thank you to Tom and hope to see you soon. Thanks. Anything to say to the nail head in his uh, Thank throws? you, thank you. <laughs> Me and my house. The only issue in my house is if you try to change the channel. Then I'll get a little pissed. Well, if you take my stereo away, get away with blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to be away with blood. This is too funny. I don't want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be. Don't mind me. Hey, you shut up. I don't want anyone blowing up my head before. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't want anyone, I don't want anyone drinking too much either. That would be a real shame. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> now we're going to have uh, a person called Pat who's on a show, and he played Ron Ragu in a humorous Stonehill episode, and he played a blasphemous priest, father supporter, in, in a mock, mock of a religious Catholic service. And uh, right now, here he is, Pat. That's so good, brother. So, Pat, uh, I did enjoy your experience with the Nailhead show. Well, um, uh, artistically, I'd, ha I'd have to say it was a, a, a somewhat disappointing experience. Yeah. In that, <laughs> um, that I found myself on the same program with with Howard Zinn material, and uh, I, I just feel I was being politically put in the same vein. Vein is uh, Howard Zinn's People's History of the United States. Yeah. Um, so well, I like to disassociate myself from that garbagey well, book right now. Well, to tell the truth, I never read it, so I can't, I can't stick up for it. I just was looking for a book at the time. But um, so a little leftist drivel. Oh, leftist drivel. We should have Jumpin' John Rocker out here to talk to you. He's, a, he's right as drivel. No, he's a nice kid. But um, <laughs> but anyway. So yeah, but aside from that though, it was a rewarding experience, something to put on your resume maybe? Well, yeah, as long as it's anonymous. Wow. So that was very good, okay. So now um, we're gonna be going out in the streets to talk to people, you know, how Nailhead shows affected their lives and if their last episode is gonna change, you know, just anything like the channel. All right, so I suppose, hey, can we do this again? <laughs> it's Blows. Well, let's just. We're going to the streets. <laughs> clap, clap. Because of Vessel's wonderful organizational skills, the production crew never made it to the streets. So, instead, we have yet another public service announcement that is sure to enlighten all you faithful viewers. And now, a message from the Church of Latter day Saints. Johnny still owes me 25 for the eighth, man. Oh, you didn't know, get it off. No, 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 What's up, what's up? What's up, what's up? I'm tasting, I see gas. Hey, man. 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 Checks, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I think we learned a little something here. Uh, huh? Yeah, man. No drinking rape. No drinking rape. You, you said, said it, it, man. Peace.
Good come. 
Despite the pressure of growing old I keep myself in such good company Just a problem. You know, they've been together a few years now, but I ain't seen no money coming out of it. In fact, you know, all they do is make loud noise in my cellar. <laughs> That's... My son Stevie, if he's not buying comic books, he's wasting money on that music crap. I said to him, you know, Stevie, if you play a little more Everly Brothers, maybe people would pay you some money to pay you. But no, all they play, I don't even know what they play, but it's crap. Hey. hey, welcome back from uh, Blow Train, and uh, that's going to be replacing the Nailhead show because Nailhead finally did pass on to a higher place, and to continue the show, since he has no nails, we just have to call it the Head Show, but we can't do that. So uh, I'd like to thank everybody that was involved in the show, including the Tom. Everybody. All the wonderful people you can't see off camera who meant so much to us in keeping this show on the air. Steve. Dan. Carrie, Ellen, Ellen, and um, Frank the homeless man is one person who is very conspicuously absent here. But what happened was that he found the home, so now he's just Frank the man. And uh, I think there's an old movie from the '70s with a character called Frank the man, so we didn't want to do that, steal anyone's groovy ideas. So uh, I thanked who I wanted to thank. Now I'm going to go to Tom for his shout out. So Tom, what do you have to say? Uh, I'd like to thank Carrie for surviving that drive down 495 from Boston. I'd, li I'd like to thank Steve uh, for being behind the scenes as, as always and cranking out such a wonderful production and Dan and, and Ellen for that wonderful penny and group job. Oh right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Glenn and uh, you, you been Penny. Penny, oh. That's, it's not my business. Right. Great. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and look out for the new show, Blow Train, which will be live musical guests every week, and uh, that, that's going to be our, our new project, and from Nailhead Studios, uh, this is um, Vessel. Oh, 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 my God, I love, I love Nailhead, I love Nailhead, oh, my God, oh, loves him. Oh, oh, thank you, I love you, I love you, I love you. So, um... On that note, we'd like to just sign off. Bye-bye.